In this video, I'm going to step you through the velocity practice problems on slide 7 in your Unit 2 e-notebook. And we started these in class. We did go over the first one in class, but I'm going to explain it a little bit more detail, and then we'll go through some of the other example problems. So um, in at the top of your slide, you'll notice that you have um, three different equations. Okay, and these are equations. They're all the same. Uh, they're all the different a different version of the same equation. So we have our main velocity equation here that tells us that velocity velocity equals delta x is our change in position of the object. So this is a change in position divided by the time it took for that change in position. Okay, or the change in time. Okay, so we can calculate velocity by taking our change in position, a position or change in position in in these problems will have the units of meters okay and the time it took that will be usually in seconds or minutes or hours any any unit of time and our units for velocity if we use meters per second or meters over seconds with our our position is meters and our and our time is seconds then our velocity units would be in meters per second which is going to be pretty consistent for this class our units will be meters per second for our velocities that we're looking for these other two equations are just the same equation rearranged. Okay, so it's still the relation, the same relationship. However, I've just solved for if you want to find the change in position, you can take velocity times time, and then if you want to find the time it took for a change in or a change in position, then you take the uh, change in position divided by the velocity, and that will give you a time. Okay. So um, if you haven't done so already, and this is on um, side six in your notebook, um, you have the definitions of what all these variables mean. Okay, but the, this is not three different equations. It's just one equation that's been rearranged to its to solve for its three different variables that you can you can find. Okay, so let's take a look at the first problem. I'm going to erase this so we just kind of have more space and it's not messy. Um, but we have a rabbit traveling from zero to seven meters. So this is going to be zero to seven meters. That's our change in position. And we find our change in position by taking our final position, seven, minus our initial position, zero. Okay, so our change in position, that's easy when we subtract a zero, just going to be seven meters. Okay, and then our time, we see in seconds right here is 0.46. Okay, we can always set our initial time to zero. And that makes it easy. We, we just have our change in time is, is 0.46. Okay, so I'm asked to find the velocity in this problem. So I'm going to want to use this first equation that solves for V. So I'm going to say V equals my change in X, 7. Okay, I solve for my change in X over here, divided by 0.46. Okay, when I do that, I get 15 meters per second. You can think it on your calculator, it's 15.2. Okay, but it's okay, you can round to just 15 meters per second. Okay, looking at the second problem, okay, we have a European swallow traveling, a position, traveling from a position of nine meters to a position of 100 meters. Okay, so we have, uh, let's draw a picture. So this swallow starts at nine meters and ends at 100 meters. Okay, so to find that change in position, we have to take 100, the final position, minus the initial position. So that gives us positive 91 meters. Okay, and in order to solve for the velocity, which is what we're trying to find, so again, we're going to use this first equation, we need to take the change in position divided by the time, okay, which is going to be 91 divided by our time here is 8.27 seconds. So we get 91 divided by 8.27 seconds, which ends up being 11 meters per second. Okay, so there's our answer for number two. And I'm actually gonna see if I can make this, there we go, let's make this a little bit bigger. Um, oops, I gotta get all the, okay. So moving on to question number three. When carrying a coconut, a European swallow travels from a position of 100 meters to 167.8 meters in 8.27 seconds. And again, I'm trying to find the velocity. 
Okay, so again, I'm going to use this first equation here. Actually, I'll change colors for this problem. Let's use green. Okay, so again, I'm trying to find velocity. So again, I'm going to use this first equation. Okay, now our swallow starts at 100 meters and ends at 167.8. To find that change in position, I need to take 167.8 minus 100, which just gives me 67.8 meters. Okay. So I have my time right here, so I'm ready to go. I can plug into my equation velocity equals my change in position, 67.8 divided by my time, 8.27 seconds. And I get 8.2 meters per second for this swallow. Looks like it's the same swallow, but now he's carrying a um, coconut, so he's traveling slower. Okay, so those first three examples were all examples where we had to try to find velocity. Okay, if we take a sneak peek at these next ones, and we'll, we'll go through them, but in four, I'm trying to find position, and in five, I'm trying to find how many minutes or the time. Okay, so here and let's let's look at number four okay if i'm trying to find position i think that this equation here is going to be preferred because that is a direct equation that's going to solve for position and my position is going to equal or change change in x is going to equal velocity times the change in time okay so I have my velocity right here. I can tell that that's my velocity because the units are meters per second. So I plug in 4.50 for my meters per second. And then my change in time is 600 seconds. Okay. 